Welcome back to our 91 Motors and this video will be about uh, this uh, primary gear cog replacement because my one is broke also because we're gonna remove this cover also I show you how to remove your clutch basket with not using uh, with not spending any money for new tools uh, I create my own ones and I think you can do as well also I show you where is uh, your oil pump placed uh, sometimes if they, if they broke down, I'll show you the best way how to replace them as well. First of all, you drain your oil out. Make sure there is no, no oil in the engine, because that's going to be a bit messy job. Let's crack on. So as you see what you've got in here, which is your timing chain under, the first gear for the camshaft in here. Let's place it back, turn this on. So yeah, so that basically is broke. And here so we're gonna replace with a new one. Under, in here, that's your oil pump. This is your clutch, clutch basket with all plates inside. Show you how to correct, remove it and how to correct, put it back on. And that's your gear shifter in here. And nothing really else. It's, uh, it's all pretty nice and easy. It's no big, uh, no big problems, no big works in here. So let's crack on. Let's start to remove this. Uh, the clutch basket you remove one two three four five screws uh, they uh, got springs inside so just remove them first <laughs> Screws here, remove the first top basket, comes off like that. Be careful, there is kind of uh, bearing inside. Be very careful with these in here, don't lose them. Also, we got a couple of things in here as well, but we go step by step, put it back on. So, you're gonna see what uh, how they have to come back on it. So, we remove also these. Uh, plate in here I show you as well the correct way to place them back on so now we have to remove this screw in here because we we can buy kind of uh, special tools in eBay for five or ten pounds but I'm gonna use one of these boys in here I found it in my garden uh, to be honest God knows where is it coming from but what I did I drill a couple of holes in here so I can place it, for example, just like that. Screw three screws inside and try to undo that uh, bolt up there. So let's have a look. So just put something in here and then get your socket boom and it's open nicely nice and open also before we remove this basket we need to undo this screw in here as well what I do which I would not suggest you to do it but I will do because I don't have special tools I just put the screwdriver between those 
two sprockets or because remember this goes another way around so if that you unscrew the anti-clockwise this has to go clockwise because the that is just a little bit different yep that one is off see that goes another way around be very careful with them don't lose them there is a washer as well inside so that should come off with all basket now so we remove this screw in here so don't mix them up because remember this is going anti-clockwise to undo it and this goes the clockwise so be very careful with that one in here so basically that comes off nice and easy be careful there is a washer on the back as well don't want to lose that so that comes off nice and easy and also this comes off nice and easy but be careful because there is a little because there is a little pin goes inside in here in this uh, cog so right show you what so this is your clutch basket off you've got kind of this little thing up there goes on as well uh, it's a bit sunny hopefully you're gonna see all of it so you can you can check all looks fine to me as I said uh, this is your oil pump sometimes you could make a noise you see as soon as you tune the oil comes in here so that's your oil pump uh, that's your camshaft crankshaft up there and a gear selector in here it's all pretty easy it's never been done so it looks fine so let's look, replace it and just put back everything uh, step by step okay so remember don't forget about this little pin All right it goes just right in here put your cog in oil so it's nice and oily I'm trying to get straight to this pinpoint in here lovely and just push it right in yeah it is in brilliant also you've got washer which goes in here as well just right there and a screw which goes back if you are done clockwise we have to screw it back anti-clockwise okay, I'm not going to tidy up now just put it on now we can put this the clutch basket on it looks like that there's nothing on the back because you see you have to go to this uh, these uh, sprockets in here Go further in. For some reason, you don't want to go inside. Let's get a little bang. Oh, no, no. Yep, there we go. Now it's completely on it. So we can place it this. Uh, inside in the clutch basket in here remember there is a little washer as well so place it back place it place it back this boy in here And also you got washer goes in here as well just to protect your basket coming off or because you got vibration in the engine that could get your basket off lovely 
So I've loaded that fish screw in here. Nice. So first of all we can tighten up these boom in here. Don't go too hard because you can honestly with this clutch basket you can break nice and easy so be careful so this one I have to go back now anti-clockwise so basically place your screwdriver in here it's not best way to do but it's what I do try go hard as much as you can just don't break nothing that should be fine to me all right just now undo these three screws <laughs> So they are off. We can crack on with the. So we place it back this boy in here. As well, put in oil. The old oil. I'm going to replace oil anyway. Place it back in here. Also, you got a little boy bearing like that. Place that one inside as well. And then you got washer as well. Goes just right on the top in here. So now you can crack on and put your clutch plates on. First is this one, not the metal one. First is just the proper clutch plate as well. Try to get them in oil. Basically you start with this, not metal one but this one, and you end up with this one as well. Nice. So we can place the last basket on, which goes right on the top in here, just like that. And you get your five springs as well. Put all them in your old oil. They like the oil anyway. Put your springs back, clean your ends, and get the last uh, five screws for your clutch basket on. Yep, clutch works fine as you see in here. Brilliant. I think that was pretty easy job. Let's get the last bit on. Make sure there is no damage uh, gasket. Gasket is still fine. I'm sure it is. Try to get on back your. Power. 
just like that. Back on. Good job done. If you find helpful this video, subscribe. Uh, the more videos will come up about this bike, about probably hundreds of different bikes. Uh, smash that like button and see you next video.